Fayetteville State University is part of the University of North Carolina system and we have about 6,300 students and 1,200 staff and faculty. Our campus has about 39 buildings that are all networked with fiber. We have gigabit fiber from three distribution centers, all home run, back to the data center. The biggest problem was visibility. We, we just never knew what was going on. Um, we, we didn't know what students or staff, faculty were doing on the network. Uh, and, and because of that, we were always reacting to, to problems rather than, than being proactive. When we first started uh, our endeavors into NAC, uh, we looked at and selected clean access and we had problems from the start. Uh, first, uh, deploying clean access, we had to uh, deploy an agent to all the machines. Uh, which caused problems, uh, students downloading uh, an agent when they you know, wanted to get onto the network, they wanted to get onto the network. Secondly, it couldn't provide us any of the visibility we needed. All it could do was ensure that, that our antiviruses were up to date. That, that was about it. And finally, the students' machines were directly linked to that clean access, so even if they were denied entry into the, to the network, they still could reach the clean access server and if they had malware or viruses or trojans they could cause denial of service attacks on the clean access machines and it got to the point where they would flood the clean access machines uh, to the point where they would freeze and we'd have to uh, reboot the server. We wrote scripts to reboot the server every night uh, just so that uh, you know students could get on in the morning you know, when school started. The biggest thing was the, the visibility. Being able to see what students were doing gave us you know, the ability to provide the services that they needed. It also gave us the, the ability to be you know, proactive and lock them out if they were violating policies. The second was the dissolvable agent. Uh, unlike uh, clean access, there's, there's nothing to install. Finally, the, the land segmentation uh, was a, a big point. Uh, no longer did we have to go out and uh, you know, turn off ports that weren't being used and you know, or segment our VLANs and, and allow uh, you know, for ACLs. We could just let them go and authenticate through Concentry, and that was it. When Concentry came in, they, they came in with their land shield controller, and we looked at that because we were familiar with clean access, which is an appliance, and you know we thought that would be the thing. We also found at that point that Concentry had switches that had the NAC built in, uh, and when we saw that, and we saw that it gave us port level uh, granularity, we just further investigated that and decided that that would be a better solution for our dorms than just having the controllers. The Concentry solution's been great so far. It's giving us the visibility that, that we need. We know a lot more about our endpoints now uh, and, and we're much more proactive uh, in, in handling our, our users. Concentry saves us uh, a lot of time and headaches. Um, the, the, the frustration with clean access was the eight, you know, loading and installing the agent for all the students, and we'd get lots of support calls uh, for that. We're not seeing those calls with the, with the Concentry solution. Because of the architecture of Concentry, we're not uh, falling into uh, the, the hands of the malware and, and the viruses and the Trojans hammering our system and flooding it. Uh, so we're, we're not seeing any of those issues either. The visibility that, that Concentry provides allows us to monitor and, and see what's going on in our network uh, and what our students are doing so that we can provide the best services uh, for them. And it also allows us to 
nip problems in the bud. Uh, you know, if, if we see a student that's doing something that's against our policies, we can stop it immediately. And that, that's something that we've never had here before. So it was always uh, a very reactive approach to, uh, to things, and, and now we're, we're, we're becoming more proactive.